four of the WSIS Plus 20 Forum High Level Event. And these meeting rooms have been a hive of activity with global leaders coming together to share their knowledge. In this room, they're looking at the impact of digital on individual rights and freedoms. The progress in generative AI technologies poses new challenges to information integrity. We really believe that human rights will help us navigate the challenges that we're facing in this, in this space. It's not a barrier to accomplishing what we want. It's a tool that will help us find the pathway that's the safe one that allows us to, to really take advantage of these things. The impact of these new tools, generative AI in particular, is amplifying the certainly the negative effects. It's faster, it's cheaper to build, and we see a rise in generation of deep fakes and digitally manipulated content. The meetings help build a deeper understanding of using technologies to promote inclusion. Here, identifying the challenges faced by people with disabilities. We have uh, some priorities that come from our uh, Minister of Foreign Affairs in Mexico. And one of the priorities is uh, to attend all the uh, persons in situation of uh, vulnerability. And one of them are persons with disabilities, migrants, indigenous people, women, girls. Technologies are offering unprecedented opportunities to enhancing healthcare. There are no services for the blind people, so we made this app. If you take a photos with the smartphone camera, the AI, uh, the AI tells the result, the surroundings and uh, uh, text and uh, people's face and color and uh, right. This event is a chance to take stock and celebrate progress made. The WISIS prizes awarded today identify and showcase success stories in the implementation of the WISIS action lines and SDGs. Here, recognizing innovation in healthy aging. Members join Stitch uh, and then the platform helps them discover the events and activities that are in their area. But we use a network of volunteers, thousands of volunteers around the world actually, to reach out to those members because often they're vulnerable and isolated uh, and they are welcomed in and then introduced to a community where the principles of, I guess, we're recreating what communities always used to be, which is we look after each other. Elsewhere, leaders came together, committing to develop digital initiatives in many areas here in the food and agriculture sector. We have quite a bit of tools already at hand that are really good and really usable for agriculture. So what's missing for the next step that I feel is to bring them together in an interoperable way. This requires standards obviously and once we fix this I think we will make a major leap here. Partnership is all important for success. WISIS works closely with many UN agencies and strengthening collaboration with academia on emerging trends was part of today's agenda. To me, while we're interested in the long-term projects, we also want to right now things that can push us forward very quickly. So, and the ITU is good at that. They have a lot of technology available. So the question is, how do we make those resources available to universities in Somalia? It's been a full day of discussions, a coming together of ideas and a willingness to continue to collaborate for the betterment of society. Join us tomorrow for day five of the WISIS Plus 20 Forum high-level event.